All right, you know what else I love is Bedlam. We had it tonight in Stillwater, a tale of two very different halves. How the Cowboys turned the tables on the Sooners in a game they needed to win. Highlights next. Now, two news Oklahoma sports. Three free throws. Oh, it sounds like somebody might have a noisemaker in the building. A noisemaker. It could result in a technical foul for the home team. So please refrain from using it. Shenanigans, chicanery. Big Al would have loved this. And I love Bedlam at GIA. Some kid using an air horn as OE players tried to shoot free throws. And show-stopping official John Higgins would not stand for it. And welcome into sports, everybody. Sooners, Cowboys going off for the 245th time in Bedlam. In the brutal Big 12 Conference, these in-state rivals appear destined for life on the NCAA tournament bubble. So every game is precious. And a rivalry game that's soon to be canceled that makes it even more so. Good crowd at GIA, not full, but they were loud. OU's Grant Sherfield spent much of the first half trying to make sure they didn't get too excited. Sherfield was brilliant, showing the entire repertoire at the rim, mid-range, deep three there, five of seven shooting, 15 points by halftime for Sherfield. Tulsa native Bryce Thompson scoring a pair of buckets late, coast to coast lay in there, then the Kobe Bryant fadeaway to beat the buzzer. Bryce cutting the halftime lead to six, 30-24 with that. OSU shot just 31% in the first half, but the second was a very different story. And it was those boys from the 918 doing much of the damage. Bryce, 19 points. Caleb Boone, how about 15, seven rebounds and five big blocks. Charger up. My man brought the energy. GIA, an electric factory in the second half. OSU outscoring OU 48-26 after halftime. This is a big win for the Pokes and they needed it, 72-54 the final. Both teams now two and four in Big 12 play, 72-56 that is. Sherfield held scoreless in the second half. The OSU defense was great. Up next, OSU hosting number 12 Iowa State. Sooners face TCU on Saturday.